Hello, this is the second video feedback from the discussion board, and I want to address the role of the strategic communication officer and what that entails, both strategic and tactical. I had the privilege to become the strategic communication strategist for two years for a shell safety project that covered both the United States, Canada, and Germany, as well as the Netherlands. You are the chief strategic communication person, but you're not alone. I had to work with subject matter experts, SMEs, SMEs, to determine the theme and to help create the materials for the themes. I was given the corporate theme logo, which the senior leadership had de devised. And from there, I created the campaign. I took each theme, came up with what kind of materials or modality of communication we could use, who would make that, when it would be created, how it would be distributed, and who would distribute it. I created the plan on a Excel spreadsheet in sequential order. For example, the modalities. They became quite important. One modality was posters. I got an idea for one poster series from uh, a communication campaign that was used elsewhere on another project. Another poster idea just came to me while I was walking in Kroger's department store and looked down on the floor and saw a sticker for a product. So I found a manufacturer, got the safety information around it, and for the first time we created stickers for the shop floors, the refinery floors, that were related to our safety campaign. Another idea came to me when I was looking through a book of photographs. I liked the photograph I saw and then got it kind of reproduced and, and designed uh, and we distributed that as a desk drop you know, like a postcard that goes on the desk of every individual. In addition, I spoke with the president and he created short videos. And he was a great guy to work for and work with because he would come in, he'd ask, do you have any ideas? I'd hand him a piece of paper, he'd look at it, and then he would just look up to the camera and improvise. He was a great person to handle for the communication campaign. We did pamphlets in which we asked senior leaders that everybody knew at the time to answer this question. How do you intervene when you see somebody doing an unsafe act? We got a lot of interesting replies and one of the replies gave me an idea for another sub-series in the communication campaign. The difficulty with that is, of course, as soon as that individual leaves that role, it has no impact. So it has a short shelf life. Well, I did not use social media. At that time, Shell was not into it. It does now. It has a Facebook page, a Twitter feed. They're quite up to it. But at that time, no way. So, I had both the strategic role and the technical role to actually figure out how this stuff got built and made. You're right, you can't create a poster without a graphic artist, but you can work hand in hand with that graphic artist on the design features. I know I had another idea when I was up at a factory, a refinery in Canada, and saw a Canadian government poster and said, whoa, that's a pretty good idea. We can adapt that. 
Well, I hope this has given you some real-world insights into the interplay between being a strategic planner and being the tactical individual, the tactician, to get it all implemented, created and implemented.